Hello, my name is Michael Gay. I'm the Vice President of Operations for Glass Doctor. And I'm here today uh, to introduce you to an exciting new program that we're very uh, pleased to be a part of in a strategic relationship with uh, Lowe's and Glass Doctor. And it's a new program that I'd like to share with you and introduce to you. And we appreciate you taking the time to watch this. It's called our Heavy Glass Shower Door Program. It's a type two program. And first, I wanna let you know why this program's good for you. This program's good for you, you especially PSIs, is because it's gonna allow you the opportunity to price and sell the shower enclosure at the beginning of the PSI project. Also, the lead times are gonna be improved by a couple of weeks because of the efficiency of the process. So these are the big things that um, we learned from talking with uh, the Lowe's people, uh, your associates, we learned that these were, you know, really causing issues, especially because the shower door is usually the last thing done with your bathroom remodel when you're doing a PSI project. And to have a delay uh, and, not, and then they go have to add on the cost at the end because you don't know at the beginning were real challenges for, uh, for PSI. So we, we believe we've solved that through our program. And these are two items that I think will really increase your customer satisfaction. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the Dwyer Group. Uh, Glass Doctor is part of a company called the Dwyer Group, and we are a service-based franchise company. We have 13 brands and about 2,500 franchisees throughout uh, pr primarily North America, U.S. and Canada, but we also have uh, European divisions. We do about 1.3 billion in system sales, and you can see uh, our collection of brands, very focused on the trade services, they include Mr. Reuter, Rainbow International, Mr. Electric, Five Star and Protec Painting, Mr. Handyman, Molly May, Mr. Appliance, Glass Doctor, Air Serving Grounds Guys. Uh, these are brands that you've probably heard, heard about before, but all of these brands, again, are focused on providing an exceptional uh, consumer experience. And that's one of the things is we know you at Lowe's, you know, have a high-end customer, and it's all about taking care of that customer. And our relationship, we feel it's a great fit because that is our DNA, in our DNA. And that's the way all of these companies work. They're used to dealing with the retail consumer and dealing with the retail consumer in a very professional uh, manner. Another big uh, differentiator that we're real proud of at Glass Doctor and the Dwyer Group is we're really, uh, we, we have a code of values that we truly, um, that we truly adhere to and we work with our franchisees and, and associates at home office and uh, our code of values, it, it starts with basically our founder, Donald Dwyer. And uh, it's a really, again, part of our DNA for uh, our company. And a, a little bit, you may have seen Dina Dwyer, that's Don's, our founder's daughter, who she is our chairwoman. You might have actually seen her on Undercover Boss. Uh, our company was on Undercover Boss, and she's also written many books about company culture and everything. And the latest one is Values Inc. It happens to be a top 10 on the Forbes bestseller today, and it's all about uh, basically the code of values and then how we implement that through our culture here at the Dwyer Group and how we train our franchisees to uh, just hopefully uh, live by the code of values and, and provide exceptional service. The Glass Doctor Lowe's program is uh, again very exciting to us. One of the things that you can count on and, and that, uh, that we're trying to bring to you is consistency. Consistency in how the look and the feel and the frontline delivery of service. You can see here one of our wrapped vans. Our vans are, uh, are wrapped, clean. Um, so when they drive up to the customer's home, it's very professional. And our specialists um, are in uniform. Our specialists will be in uniform. They'll have the Lowe's badge on. So again, you can, be, you can confidently believe we're gonna be providing great customer service to your, to your uh, clients. Our vision statement is really to be the first spot for any glass need by giving people the world's most memorable service experience. Again, that's, that's Glass Doctor's vision statement. That's what we, are, what we believe we're trying to accomplish 
and that's what we'll be trying to accomplish with your Lowe's with your Lowe's client or your Lowe's customer more on glass doctors we are the largest network of independently owned and operated glass companies in North America so um, we are a full service glass company we do auto home and business and we're the only one uh, only company national company that offers that suite of products our mix is we're actually about 60 percent flat glass or property glass with shower doors as a part of and about 40 percent uh, auto glass nationally we have an 183 franchisees about 300 physical locations in 2000 uh, 2015 we did 135 million in sales and we grow about 15 to 25 franchisees per year so our footprints continually growing out and our our goal is to basically be able to cover lows around the country nationally today we can cover about 65 percent of the stores with our glass doctor franchisees and uh, we're working hard to add more franchisees to cover hundred percent but we also have and we'll be implementing a partner program for areas where we don't, we don't have coverage. <clears throat> Excuse me. Our average franchisee sales are about 818,000 a year. That's a pretty good sized glass shop. Any glass shop that's around a million uh, dollars is pretty significant in the glass industry because it's mostly made up of very small, uh, I'd say one man in a truck uh, kind, of, uh, kind of operations. There's not a lot of substantial uh, companies out there. And our average uh, franchisee has about five trucks or specialists per location. That's our averages. The, sh the heavy glass shower door category represents a huge strategic opportunity for Glass Doctor and Lowe's. Uh, we believe Glass Doctor is, is, and our brand is uniquely positioned to lead this market. We also believe that Lowe's, in its space, in the large format uh, retailers, uh, basically with all the things that have been going on in your new store sets and the energy you put behind it we fully expect you guys to be the leaders uh, for the big box uh, hardware store format and we can help each other both get there and be, and be the large players what are what are some of the reasons the, the market is very fragmented there's no national player you probably have seen that and felt that through the pain points of dealing with all the different individual glass companies and all the variation there is no national player or process out there. Uh, it's a great category because there's a high average sales price, about $1,500. So it's a very good margin um, and it's a high ticket item. That uh, It's a high ticket investment for the customer. We have, Glass Doctor has very strategic partners that that is allowing us to have this national reach and create the consistency. Our two glass partners are Cardinal and Agalite. Uh, we can cover the whole country with these with, with these two partners and then we have uh, world-class training we have glass doctor university that allows us um, it's in Waco Texas at our headquarters and we have a, a basically ongoing training where we bring franchisees in and we we give them hands-on training for all the things we do and we have very very good training for uh, uh, shower door installation and measurement and so forth we also work with our partners car Cardinal and the Agalite so that our franchisees can either come to Glass Doctor University or get the Glass Doctor University curriculum at one of these vendors. So get this very specialized training. It represents the fastest growing category in our company. Um, as you can see, we we used to be very we used to be very high auto glass, and as it's shifted, we're very high in the uh, in the property glass side now. And through our combined strengths. Uh, we really believe together we should be the 800 pound gorilla in this category. History of how we got here is the Lowe's, we had feedback, we're working with Lowe's over the years. We've had feedback from, Lowe's had feedback from the field ident identifying several pain points. And with Glass Doctor, we're here to fix your pains, that's our motto. So we designed and tested a, a new process. Um, in markets 824 and 828 in Charlotte. Uh, what was our measures of success? We were looking to improve customer satisfaction, create quicker lead times, have better and more consistent pricing, 
and a reduction in the Lowe's paid out expense, basically change orders, from things changing. So we were able to, we were able to accomplish that successfully by our simplified and more professional sales process uh, enhanced communication and administrative capabilities. We have through headquarters at Glass Doctor. We have technology. You know, we have a team of people that you know, help track all this and can basically uh, give us the kind of communications required to keep track of all the craziness that goes on with tracking these product projects in the stores with the vendors and so forth. We also have trend forward designs in the marketplace. There's been a real change in, uh, in the trends of the product. We started out with the economical frame shower door and it's kind of evolved to heavy glass. Heavy glass is really the, 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 the most demand. The heavy glass without, uh, without a lot of frame area taken up for the visibility with the nice heavy clear, clear glass. And then it's also, um, what's become popular is what's called semi-custom. So it's an economical heavy glass look. And that would be what, uh, what some of your new stuff is. There's more adjustability, but it has a heavy glass look. Doesn't have a lot of framework on it, uh, but it's not quite as thick or quite as heavy. And that would be, um, an example would be your new semi-custom doors that are top, are top sellers in your stores. So what are we, what are we focused on? We're focused on the truly custom heavy glass doors. That's where we come in. Uh, it's type two program, sold, furnished, and installed. Uh, we do, by the way, you might be wondering, you know, what about my other stuff? What about installer base for my, uh, my semi-custom new doors and my other frame doors? Um, our franchisees can work with you and your field service managers to basically decide whether there's a good fit on a local basis, a store to store basis with the field service managers, just like you work with your other, inst other installers for uh, the category. Our program is a national based program and it is just again focused on the custom heavy glass. Um, one of the cornerstones of our program Cornerstone is really what we call our menu pricing or a quoter. It's, it's a cornerstone of all these Dwyer brands I showed you and of Glass Doctor over the years. It's a proven system that provides Glass Doctor and Lowe's with a competitive advantage over the competition or what's being done today. Again, it's being able to price right on site in front of the customer. With a very, it, it's a more professional presentation. It provides a better, better customer experience, meaning that you're giving them immediate pricing. The way it works, and you've probably seen it work, is someone will come out and get the measurements and then they'll have to go back and they'll have to find out what the costs are and then they'll have to submit the quote back to either you, the low store, or back to the customer. Well, there's a lot of time, if everything goes right, there's a lot of time wasted in that. And that's not the customer experience we're after. We're after giving the customer basically the immediate information while we're there on site and being able to give them the immediate pricing. And menu pricing, our menu pricing in our quarters, the way we're able to do that. It also increases closing rates. When you're working with them right on site um, and you're able to give them the information right there, it's going to increase uh, basically their want to and their desire to say yes. It increases margins. Uh, and it reduces administration and lead times. So it reduces all that additional work back and forth to get to the point where you've given the customer the price. Um, we, uh, we have put together this program or this, uh, what we call our shower design guide and our franchisees are working to distribute these to the PSIs in the stores. It's focused on the PSIs and it's a 30, 36 page guide. Um, it's provided by Glass Doctor, the, the gla local Glass Doctor partner shop to you. And it's easy for uh, the PSI to review with the customer. So when you're going through, it's very easy to uh, basically work with the customer to identify the right shower door and show them their options and stuff. The training will be provided by the gla local Glass Doctor shop or by working with Glass Doctor corporate. We can do training online. Or we also will be coordinating appointments to where the local, local glass doctor shop or representative will come in and work with you, uh, the PSI. Uh, the first open spread when you open up uh, the design guide is 
why Lowe's in Glass Doctor? We know Lowe's, you know, Lowe's has a customer loyal base. People trust it. They know they're going to be satisfied. Uh, you guys have pre-screened contractors. We, we've gone through all the background checks. And you have financing. Uh, why Glass Doctor? Again, Glass Doctor is just a, 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 a consistent brand. Stands for the th same thing as Lowe's do does. We've been around since 1962. Now we're going to go and give that professional that professional cons cons consultative approach. I Meaning when we go in, we're going to give them high pressure sales. We're going to look at the situation. If we're in a home or with working with you, the PSIs, we're going to provide the training. And we really uh, believe we're the experts in this and we're going to work with you to, uh, to show that and, and provide that customer experience. The next pages in the design guide are really showing you uh, the hinge options and the hardware finish options, the towel bars. So it can kind of show people how substantial the parts are and everything. And we're working, by the way, to get some of this uh, point of purchase stuff out to the store. It's going to take us a little time. The program's new. Um, but you have a nice visual picture of what their options are and so forth. A lot of times you're going to work through the quoter and when I show you that and you're going to come back and refer to these pages when people are, when you're trying to show them the difference in their options. Uh, the next pages show your, your glass options. You know, the, there's an opportunity to upgrade glass. All of our standard pricing comes with 3 8 clear glass, very thick uh, clear glass. But there is an opportunity to upgrade glass to, uh, you know, standard patterns, low iron glass, which is uh, basically very clear. Um, and then we have things like Venetian class glass. When it gets really, really custom, this heavy uh, comes out of a cast mold, uh, fancy patterns. We can do laser cuts. We can do etch glass. Now, this is important because we can be as custom as the customer wants. It gets very expensive when you do this, but the reality is that about 90% of what's sold is 3 8 clear glass. Now let me tell you why. Not only is it cost effective, and, and, and it's the most cost effective, but today when people are doing bathroom, bathrooms and they're putting all this work in beautiful marble or tile work and so forth, why would you want to cover it up with a pattern? So we just don't see, you know, we have the ability to do all this stuff, but in most cases, the 3 8 clear glass is what customers are going to want. We also uh, have a page here that shows an optional upgrade that talks about our clear choice, about features and benefits. Clear choice is a hydrophobic coating that goes on the glass and it basically helps keep the hard water spots away, it kind of shields the water. Basically consider it rain -X on steroids and uh, it will reduce mold and bacteria, it will keep your shower door looking clean, gets rid of the hard water etching in it and you're also able to re replenish it uh, and, you know basically refresh it over time uh, the consumer can do that themselves or they can call a glass doctor uh, to go out uh, and do that for them so starting with uh, this is a retail card this is a front and back view and, and we've also given you these in the laminated cards both for the PSIs uh, or it's in your book for the PSIs and for the legacy program we've given it out to uh, to the plumbing department for the people that are on the floor. Now, why do we do this? First, what we want to do is when people are trying to decide the difference of whether they really want a custom solution versus what they can buy off the shelf in your type one program, um, you know, they may think they want that, but they need to recognize the, the, the kind of price breaks and kind of the differences in pricing. And they may just decide that, you know, they don't truly need custom. So what we've tried to do here is there's four most common configurations. We've tried to give you a retail price estimate. And the four most common are swing door, 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 uh, swing door, door with side panel and inline side panel a door with a side paddle and a return over here and a swing door with neo angle. Those are kind of four common configurations and you can see what we've done is we've provided basically a price range. Now this is a significantly pretty large significant price range on there um, because there's a lot of variables that affect where the price is going to be and we've tried to show that. What are they? Obviously the dimensions and the type of glass is going gonna, is gonna to be a big driver. Uh, we mentioned the pattern glass and so forth. Um, 
Additional glass fabrication. Are there notches in there? Are there extra holes that need to be done? Is there cutouts that need to be done? Uh, is the is the door need to be put in on a surface that's not square? Those all have to be you know basically cut uh, custom to fit the walls and so forth. So those things can affect uh, pricing. And then the hardware. You know what kind of hinges are they? Are they heavy duty? Or are they standard? What kind of hinges? What kind of wall attachments are required for the type of door that's been chosen? And a big one is finish. You know what? How much? Uh, what finish do you like? Chrome and gold are going to be your most economical, and Roman bronze, the dark Roman bronze, is going to be your most expensive. And then finally, the glass coating. What we've done up here on this chart, which is on the back of it, we've tried to give you an idea of what each configuration is going to run and kind of the, the driving forces between the glass, the hardware, and the coating. What kind of final investment is someone looking like um, if they're making a decision to go with this type of door? Really relevant in your legacy program because your legacy program, if you're going to ask someone to spend $35 to go out on a detail, you don't want to mislead them. You want them to know and kind of have set the expectation of how the process is going to work and also um, what kind of pricing they're going to expect. If they're not expecting, for example, on a regular door to spend $1,000 to $1,500 on a heavy glass door, then obviously we don't want to spend $35, $35 to come out and then be disappointed that it's that expensive. Uh, another uh, tool in here, in the book, and also our forms, is you have a, an estimator form that we that you use when you're working up the estimate you've got a little worksheet here to go through and uh and, and to come up with it so you have a document that shows how you got to the price and you can see down in the left hand corner is the instructions on where to order it how to order it, it has contact information when, when you're setting this in a process and again we have a team back at Glass Doctor Corporate in Waco, they're ready to, they're going to do the processing, but they can also coach you and review what you've done and help kind of make sure that you're comfortable with the process and you're comfortable that you've priced it right. You also can call the local shop and that local relationship with the local shop, they ought to be able to help you with this. this we have a certificate of completion uh, that we use. Um, and uh, this is actually right now going through the approval process. But what's some unique things about it? There's a disclosure up here that prior to installation, you want the customer to know, and we want the customer to know, that there is a risk. We're drilling into different surfaces, tile and granite, that could crack. Okay, and we can't be held, we can't be held liable for that. Um, you know, we're going to try to use the right equipment and stuff, but there is a chance of cracking, uh, and there might be extra costs if that happens, or they need to maybe need to bring their tile person back out. We certainly hope not, but it's possible. Uh, and a heavy glass shower door, it's not going to be watertight uh, or airtight. There's going to be a quarter inch uh, gap, plus or minus an eighth of an inch in, in between the door. So there's clearance room and so forth. Um, it's important and we want them to know that if the curb is not sloped uh, directly by the general contractor or in the bathroom, there's a chance that water could run out the front of it. These are things that we need to discuss with the customer. We need to know they're aware of uh, going in. We, have, we get a little signature to know that's happened. And then when, we are, when our specialists on site complete the job, we're asking them to make sure uh, and let the customer acknowledge that they've cleaned up, that they've walked through the, the job with the customer and that the customer is satisfied, that they've checked the hardware and everything. And then we have a little area for, for that uh, signature. And then finally, the lower part of the waiver is the waiver of lien one year warranty. This is Lowe's exact language along with the certificate of completion that you have. And, it, and it's basically the waiver of lien, the warranty and customer acceptance. So again, that's a way to know that when we walk away that your customer is satisfied and we've been uh, forthright and we've disclosed everything. Uh, for you, in, in your shower design guide, we've put in there uh, the program process and context. Uh, you know, basically what happens in this type two program, what happens from the lead to the assessment uh, to the installation. 
Down at the bottom of that page, you've got our corporate contacts. Dwyer Service Solutions is basically an administrative arm for Glass Doctor Corporate when I mentioned that. And when you call here, it's got how to reach us and basically the contacts. It's got your contacts at Lowe's. You know, Kevin Jones is the category manager for this at corporate for you. And then you've got Kelly Martin, the PSI manager, and how to reach them if you have questions. Uh, there's toll free numbers, there's a dedicated email, and then we have a web portal that we'll be working with you to set up. Um, so that we can all be looking at the same thing if you choose to track jobs that way. Another page in there is instructions on how to use the book. So if you want to walk through it yourself, and try to do it. This is this is gonna. It's a seven-step process. It shows you the steps of pricing out a shower door. But again, remember, we'll be available to you through corporate and dryer service solutions to do that via phone, via web meeting, or we'll be able to bring in uh, your local glass doctor. Will come in and help you with the process. So, what's the quarter look like? Now we're going into the quarter page, which is in the middle of your uh, shower design guide. Uh, the first part that we have is we have a configuration table here uh, and, and, it, and uh, it shows you the configuration page is showing you remember we talked about the the basic designs the, the door the door with an inline panel the kneel angle and uh, and then we actually have bath screens here also so what you do and, and then we have uh, this is an example of a page with just the standard door this is a swing door with inline panel examples. These are what the pages look like in there. Swing door with inline panel and return. Uh, as you flip through the book, uh, again, the pages will bring you to all these different ones and the neo angle. And then we have bath screen examples. What's a bath screen? Bath screen is uh, you've got a partial wall with your bath at your bathtub. Uh, partial wall but you don't have handles and it, you know you don't have all the hardware and it's not swinging it's just a fixed screen to keep water from splashing out of the bathtub and then uh, in the quarter towards the back is where you find your glass upgrade options pricing if you want to add on a handle or bath towel basically the pages to accomplish that are in the back so glass upgrade uh, here um, handle upgrades and then we have towel bars that's in in the quarter book so let's let's take an example of and let's go through and let's look at the pricing process on how we use our mini price guide quote it's a 10-step pricing process it's going to start with the configuration and it's going to end up with the instructions on how you send this to the uh, fax or email again uh, we're going to now walk through the different 10 steps all the way through and actually build a quote one thing to note is that tax is included in this pricing. It's already included. Uh, the tax is being charged in the pricing we're providing you as the vendor with one exception. In the state of North Carolina, the tax is not included, so it must be charged by you in the store. And hopefully your system is set up to give you that warning. But all, all territories other than North Carolina, the quota includes taxes. So let's start the 10 step process. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select a configuration. As you can see, the configurations we mentioned, the, the standard door, the door with an inline panel, uh, the door with an inline panel and a return, the neo angle, and there's bath screens are on, uh, are your options on this configuration page. It's the page one in the quoter is, is when you look through your book. So let's say we were interested in this particular model. It's a swing light, it's a swing door with an inline panel, with an inline panel and a return panel. It's telling us it's wall mount hinges. These are the wall mount hinges. 3 8 clear glass with which is standard with all these heavy doors and it has channels. So basically it has the U channel and you can see through the sketch kind of where the U channel is. It's telling us that that's on page 9. So we're going to go over to page 9 now and when we turn to page 9 this is the top of page nine. So we're going on to the second step. The, the first thing on top of page nine is the glass. Now what I'm showing you at the bottom is this is your worksheet where you fill it in, uh, your form. Um, so this is your actual form we showed you earlier, your PSI estimate form. And this happens to be the actual quarter page, the top of the quarter page. So we're gonna go in, it's got a sketch of kind of 
what we're pricing right now. It's basically uh, the model with two hinge cutout, two holes, and all sides polished. And you can see there's your two holes, there's your two hinge cutouts. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna price uh, what we call the perimeter, okay, of it. And the perimeter really is just the width of all the panels. It's not all the way around. It's basically just the width of all the panels. In this case, let's say we have a door that's 76 by 80. Okay? So a 76 by 80. When we go to the chart, we go 76 by 80, and right there, it's $1,896. So it's 3 8 clear glass, and it's 76 by 80, 1896 you're going to want to write down the dimensions and everything so there's a trail of how you got to the price. So now let's go to the next step. Now, when you're working with a customer and you're showing them their different glass options, are they interested in the glass upgrade? Now let's say in this case they are. They say, yes, I'd like that upgrade. What you do is you go to the glass options or upgrade page in the book and you look at 76 by 80. You start, it's 42 square feet. So our glass square footage is 42 square feet. And in this example, we're saying they want green rain. So the additional cost for green rain is $17 per square foot. So what we're doing down here is we're selecting rain. It's 42 by 17, uh, 42 square feet by $17. That's an addition of $714. Now, this is one of those situations when you're working with the customer, they may say, yes, I want that pattern glass, or this obscure glass or whatever. When they see it's $714, they may just decide they don't want it that much. But you have the ability to build this ticket with them and show them their options and price it for them right then and there. Now let's go to the next step, step four. Now what we're doing is we're pricing for additional glass fabrication items. This is not a section you use a lot in the store. Uh, because this has to do for if there's an extra outage needed, uh, which means the wall's not square, where you as a PSI, you're holding the contractor accountable that the, that the walls be square. So um, we've already built into the price two out of square, so you don't have to go back and put a change order in if, we if the contractor doesn't get it perfect. But let's say there's an extra hole or the panel needs to be notched. There's a notch because they may have a knee wall or something. Or there's a finger notch they want in there. What you do is these are priced, these are your additions for that. And what is a buttress? A buttress is a cutout. Um, so there's a subtraction opportunity for a buttress. So if they've got a partial wall in the design and that, that means there's not gonna be all glass the whole distance. You measure basically the height of the buttress or the cutout and you're able to subtract dollars because there's less glass in there. So in this case, uh, we don't have any of these. We're not pricing any of these in. You know, these will be limited for PSI jobs. The we're holding the contractor responsible for walls being square and plumb. Uh, again, we've built in a, a factor because we don't want change orders. That was decided with uh, Lowe's Corporate that we don't want to have to go back to the customer. So we've got a little factor in there if they're not perfect, where we're not gonna to have to change the price. And then also, if there's a buttress or a knee, a partial wall, that will be the most common thing you'll probably deal with. Then the next thing we gotta do is we gotta say, let's go, let's go pick the hardware. This is the next step, the hardware and the finish. Well, the first thing is you need to know is how wide is the door that the customer wants. Because as you can see, when you, the, one of the questions is, is the door 28 and a half inches wide or narrower, or is it more than 20 and a half inches? Why is that important? That's important because a bigger door is gonna require heavy duty hinges. And that's what we're trying to get at. So if a customer wants a door that's more than 20 and a half inches wide, it's gonna be more expensive because you've gotta have better anchoring and beefier hinges on it. What's included in, in what we're doing here? It's got two, in this case, if the door's under 25 and a half inches, so actually let's go with a, let's say the door's bigger, they want a big door. What's included? Two heavy duty hinges, a six inch back to back C pole handle. Remember that front page of your handle, you can show them their handles. Uh, a 90 degree sleeve over clip, that's this right here. U channel and screws. So U channel is shown, and then all the setting screws and setting blocks. 
So what we're saying is, uh, up in this case, we're deciding that uh, we remember that our perimeter, perimeter was 80 inches, okay? So up to 88 inches, we're gonna be in this section. And let's say the customer chooses brushed nickel, chrome, or gold. That would be 296. For example, that if they want Roman bronze, that's $354. So you, you take them to the right section and you ask them the finish and you're able to discuss with them the pricing of the different finishes. Another thing to note is that we include seals. Seals will be uh, basically a little plastic strip in the sweeps to help the uh, water containment. It won't be airtight, but again, that's included in our pricing. We just included it rather than as an option so that the customer, the customer can always remove it, but we want to make sure that they're, they're not dissatisfied with the door because there's more potential water leakage than they thought. And it's very common to include seals. Uh, in this case, we said the customer wants brushed nickel, so we've x that. The door is over 28 and a half inches, so we're going to go there, and that is 296, because that door was 80 inches, so we've added that amount. We're done with the hardware now. Now let's say, do they want a towel? Do they want a handle upgrade? We told you that the standard handle is a uh, Six, is a six inch C pull. So as you can see, it's included. Let's say they want a ladder pull or square pull. Remember, in your design guide, you can go back and you could show them the handles. Uh, this is where they're gonna add, this is what the additional cost is to add the particular handles by the different finishes. So you choose the right one. And in this case, we're gonna say the customer wanted a ladder pull. That's, we go to a ladder pull handle and we, they wanted brushed nickel, it's $79.40 is what we're adding for the handle upgrade. We, we put it in there. If they wanted a towel bar, it includes all the fabrication and labor in here. Uh, basically, for example, if they wanted a brushed nickel towel bar, we would go in and we'd also, we'd say it's 18 or 24 inch, and we would go in and we'd do an ad uh, based on the, the length of it, and that's how you would add the towel bar if the customer says, yes, I want one of those. And then again, uh, so we're done with that step. Now, do they want the Cody, the clear choice option? We highly recommend that you recommend this. It makes a big difference. When you make this kind of investment in the door, uh, this coating makes a huge difference as far as customer satisfaction because they don't have all the streaks and hard, hard water smarts, spots. So what you do here is you got your height and your width of your door which you've already written down on your form, and you're getting your square footage. Remember, it was 42 square feet, or you can do the math, that helps you, and the price is $10.37 in this case. So you do the math, and that is an addition of $435. And you can see I've written down 76 by 80 divided by 144 is 42 square feet at 1037 is how we got there. So now we subtotal what the extra is for the hardware and the clear shield, $810. Now we're down to our last few steps. Mileage, if, the, if, if there's miles, if the store, miles from the store is more than a 20 mile radius, we must add uh, for every mile, uh, $2 for every mile over, uh, over 20 miles. And there's a part number in there, your 639034 in your system, and that's where you would add that on. And your custom work, we talked about that earlier. If you have other things that you know are gonna be done that you've either already had priced uh, or whatever, this is where we would add it to the ticket. Again, if you have any questions, contact your local Glass Doctor partner. We've given you contact information in there. Uh, when Glass Doctors go on site, they're gonna verify that you've done this correctly, that it is what you've show and that's why you want to give us your detailed work and change order will be requested if needed after on-site verification. It's a stated goal to have very very few change orders so we want to make sure we give you proper training and we and you know this inside and out and, and if it's very close we're not going to ask for a change order. But every time a change order is required we're going to work with you to get follow-up training so we can figure out okay what did we miss what was different so the next time you recognize it. Goals to work together to minimize change orders. Now, this is basically what we just did, okay? We just completed this shower door. Uh, the form, you put your name, your low store, 
uh, Store City. We happened to do this for Russell Wilson here in Seattle. And uh, what, this is what we just did. So this is the form filled out. It's a $3,400 door. And then down at the bottom, what, what do you do? And it says it right on the bottom of the form. But also, you send the following to Dwyer Service Solutions Glass Doctor Corp. Not to your local store. This is being administered and organized through corporate as far as all the processing. Lowe's, uh, you generate your Lowe's purchase order. You complete the estimate form. You, you should have a drawing that goes with it. Um, and you have the project schedule. What, you're ask, what we're asking you to do is include those and send those with this form to the store. And how do you get it uh, to, to Dwyer Service Solutions or Glass Doctor Corporate? How do you get it to us? You can fax it to us, you can email it to us, or you can upload it in our web form. Glass Doctor, uh, Dwyer Service Solutions, Glass Doctor Corporate will be reaching out to you and working with you if you're interested and, and providing you the link to the portal and can provide you training to the extent um, you prefer to work that way. I highly recommend you consider it because it really gives you great visibility of everything that's going on with the administration through corporate with the shop. They leave their notes in there and you can leave notes in there and we can all be looking and talking the same language. So I'm not going to go through the particular process, but it's in your it's in your design guide all the uh, you know all the steps. And this came came from Kevin Jones and, and Lowe's. This is uh, the steps in there. There is other presentations uh, available to you to show that. And you can also call Dwyer Service Solutions, and they'll do their best to help explain things. Although you're going to be best served going to your Lowe's, your Lowe's uh, people that know your system better. Dwyer Service Solutions again. What does it do? Again, I call it Dwyer Service Solutions Glass Doctor Corporate. It's one and the same. It's your Glass Doctor Program Administrator, and it's basically a single point of contact. It, it manages the vendor contracts. So basically you're contracted with Dwyer Service Solutions and underneath that is all the Glass Doctor system. You're not having to deal with that individually. Um, we're available to help train you on the process. We provide central billing. We provide the web portal for all the status and real-time tracking. We'll train you on that. We're your go-to if there's any challenges or questions, making sure that you know everybody's performing. We got quality assurance. And any problems that come up, we're going to basically be in the middle of that. Finally, the web portal. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this today, but what can you do in it? It's where you can find your existing requests, add notes, view schedule, date and time, view quotes, approve or reject quotes if you want to. Uh, we send you a link and you can go onto it. And this is a little bit what it looks like inside. It's very simple. You can see all the jobs for your store. Um, and basically, there's available actions where you can look and uh, see the date, see any notes in there. You can add a note in there. And it basically shows you everything that's gone on with that job. So you can put, it on, you can put a job on hold if you want. And again, just to bring you back to it, here's our contact information. It's a page in your design guide, but here's the contact information for people at Dwyer Service Solutions Glass Doctor who are administrating the program. Here's your web portal, dedicated email, toll free, and your Lowe's contact people, the people that we work with to design this program on your behalf. Um, thank you very much for taking your time today. Um, if you have any questions, and, and want any help, again, please reach out either to your local store or to Dwyer Service Solutions and we'll make sure we get you the support um, that you need. We're very excited about this strategic long-term relationship with Lowe's and the opportunity, Glass Doctor is excited for the opportunity to work with you and for you. And uh, we're looking forward to making this program a great success. Thank you.